What's going on YouTube? This is Raven89 coming at you again with another uh, VGC uh, battle spot battle. So this is actually just another continuation of the Zoroark team here. And I do have two battles for you today. So super interesting team that I came across uh, for this match is actually going to be against Leo. He is going to have a Smeargle, uh, Groudon, Kangaskhan, and a Meowstic team and of course i'm going to be bringing my zoroark bacon bird groudon and the molao so let's go ahead and just get this battle started if you guys enjoyed this video please like uh, leave a like on the video and that would be greatly appreciated so uh here is the kangaskhan and the meowstic and I am going to start off with Bacon Bird and the Mawlow, quote unquote. So out comes the Meowstic, which is super questionable. Um, and VGC, you know, this VGC meta switching out is super risky. Um, but he does have a shiny Groudon. Super interesting right there. So uh, that's going to be a primal shiny Groudon, which is black and super cool looking there. And um, Desolate Land is going to be activated. So switching out in BGC uh, 16 it is pretty questionable because switch-ins are really hard to do um, in this meta. Because... Um, Usually everything hits hard. So there's Kangaskhan is going to be a mega Kangaskhan. I do go right for the day, uh, night day. So no fake out coming from the Kangaskhan. It does do a good amount of damage. But there is the low kick onto the Maulile. Uh, which is actually Zoark. So out goes, down goes Zoark. But it did do a major amount of damage onto um, the Kangaskhan before he went down. So uh, Yvetal here does go for the Snarl. It is going to do a good amount of damage onto the Groudon, and it's also going to be enough to take out the Kangaskhan as well. Um, so, trading Zoark for Kangaskhan, I think that's a pretty good trade because uh, uh, Kangaskhan could be super, super threatening to this team. So, out goes my uh, my own Groudon. Like I said before, this is a, this is still my bulky, slow Groudon that I'm using, Primal Groudon that I'm using here. And out comes the Meowstic again. So super interested to see what this Meowstic is uh, going to do. Not a very commonly used Pokemon in this meta because um, there are other options. But let's just see what happens. So here is the Protect coming from the Groudon. I do go ahead and protect my own Groudon as well here. And um, my Yvetal does go for the Snarl. I probably should have went for a stronger hitting move um, to try to take out the Groudon. But I didn't. It's probably a mistake on my part. But he... Protected anyway, so it was a decent move anyway, and did some good damage onto Meowstic. And there is the Trick Room. So here is where the slowness of my Groudon is definitely going to be able to help. So here's Gravity that's going to be hitting as well, which is super good as well. Um, not for, really for my Groudon, because I do use Earth Power, and that is going to be able to outspeed the Groudon, because it is slower and knock it out. Uh, but the Snarl is guaranteed to hit now with the Gravity as well. So down goes the Meowstic and the Groudon, and the Kangaskhan went down on the first turn. So super, super good situation here. Uh, basically going to be a 3-1, and one. and here comes Smeargle. So um, first turn, Dark Void, really um, I kind of thought that he was just kind of trolling me at this point, and he did get the um, Dark Void on both of my Pokemon. Uh, he is slower, uh, built to be slower, and the Gravity just guaranteed the uh, Dark Void hit on both Pokemon as well. So, I kind of thought he was going to be trolling me as uh, here, but he went for the Transform. Super, super scary. I'm kind of freaking out at this point. Um... I forgot that that was a thing. Smeargle is such a versatile Pokemon. I'm not a huge fan. But there's the Dark Pulse that does super good damage against the Smeargle. Almost knocks it out. Um, uh, unfortunately, the Groudon is still asleep. I do go here for the Sucker Punch onto the Smeargle. And that is able to knock it out as well. Um, basically, this is, like I said, a mixed Yvetal. So a lot of people don't expect... Uh, Dark Pulse and Snarl and Sucker Punch on the same Pokemon. So, um, super good. And that is a win for us. So, uh, like I was saying, Meowstic is a pretty interesting Pokemon. It does have that Prankster. And it does have okay-ish defenses. Um, so, I mean, it's able to set up that Gravity. And has access to that. And it has access to Trick Room. 
Um, and Prankster is able to swagger and Thunder Wave stuff, but it's kind of questionable in this meta right now. Um, super interesting to see, but I think there are other Pokemon that are definitely better to use uh, instead of the um, Meowstic. I mean, there's Pokemon like Crystallia that basically does the same thing, um, but is also immune to ground type moves uh, from those ground odds and things like that. So, I don't know. Super interesting, but let's go ahead and move on to the next battle here. And this is actually going to be going against Luke, which is actually bringing a Weavile, Yvetal, Kangaskhan, and Groudon. So I think this is the first showing of the Weavile of a Weavile against this team. So I'm super interested to see how um, my Pokemon are going to do against a Weavile uh, on a team. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this battle and see what goes down. Sorry for the fuzziness, I'm trying to focus here. And um, that's a shiny King's Con, and out comes Bacon Bird and Malau called Oak Quote. So there's the Dark Aura that is going to go ahead and initiate at Primal Groudon, of course. And um, first turn, I'm, ba I'm basically banking on King's Con, uh, Mega Evolving, and faking out one of the two Pokemon here. So let's go ahead and wait and see. Uh, there's the Mega Evolution from the Kangaskhan. Baby Kang. All right, so no fake out. I do go right for the Night Days onto the Groudon. Does major, major damage. And I actually get the accuracy drop as well. Super, in, super, super fun. Kangaskhan actually goes for the Power Punch on his own Groudon. What? Super interesting. Uh, so, but this Kangaskhan is at plus one. So, um, good job, good job, uh, opponent for knocking out your own Pokemon. Um, still, this is a Kangaskhan at plus one, so that's nothing really to um, really uh, snark at as well. So, here comes the Revile is going to be asserting some pressure. There's the fake out. I'm assuming it's going to be against the uh, Yveto, but he actually goes for the Mawau. Um, I mean, it kind of makes sense, uh, showing that it's kind of looks like a Molau. There's the double edge onto Yvetal, plus one, going to do major damage, and it is going to knock out the Yvetal, unfortunately. And Kangaskhan is going to take a good amount of recoil. It is going to live, unfortunately. And uh, here, I do switch out into Groudon. So, Groudon, this, again, is still the slow, bulky Groudon that's special attacking. So, um, Groudon is going to go ahead and go for the Primal Evolution here. Oh, Primal Reversion. I think I've been saying Evolution. I don't know why. Uh, but Reversion. And uh, there's the Desolate Land. And Groudon is going to go for the Protect to basically bait out any attacks going onto the Groudon uh, since it is a big threat. So there's a Sucker Punch. It is not going to work. And the Ice Crash, he actually double into that Groudon. So here's the Night Days onto the Kangaskhan to knock that plus one Kangaskhan out, which is super awesome uh, in this situation. So out comes Yvetal. Uh, so basically, this is going to be a Dark Aura boosting. Uh, Yvetal onto the Weavile, so that could be pretty scary. There's the Icicle Crash miss, which is super unfortunate. Uh, that definitely would have knocked out the Zoroark. Um, so there's the Night Days onto the Weavile, and his accuracy is going to fall as well. Uh, like I said, Night Days does have a 40% chance to decrease the accuracy, so super cool there. Um, here out comes the uh, eruption onto Yvetal at half health and is still able to knock out the Weavile and still do a good amount of damage to the Yvetal as well. And uh, Zoroark is still hanging out here and just chilling. So Zoroark does get hit with the Sucker Punch but is able to survive here. Zoroark is just taking lives, man. Just taking lives. Out comes the Night Days onto the Yvetal. Barely, barely gets that um, accuracy fell again. So many hacks. Like I said, 40% chance is still a huge amount, so super cool. Um, but I do just miss the knockout, but there's the eruption coming from the Groudon in order to be able to knock out the Yvetal there. So, super fast games. Two uh, super fast games, but super cool games. Uh, just um, Zoroark is definitely... A threat, you know. I'm learning that, you know, if they don't target the Zoark and they kind of like leave it, it's gonna do major damage. Um, uh, like I said, this is a timid Zoark with choice specs. Um, basically, max speed, max uh, special 
attack. So uh, Night Daze is a really good uh, special attacking move um, that Zorak, only Zorak has um, access to. Uh, well, Zora as well. Obviously, it's the the non evolved version of Zorak. But um, yeah, Night Days does huge amounts of damage. It is slightly inaccurate. It is a 90, 95% accuracy. So still pretty accurate. But um, I have had some games uh, with bad luck of accuracy. And they pretty much cost me the game. So that's something to be weary about. But that 40% accuracy drop, I don't see a proc too much. Uh, but as you saw in this game, it procced three times. And uh, um, also, this I mean, the Weavile did uh, miss his Eichels of Crash, but I did have Maul out in the back to be able to handle that Weavile as well. Um, and I'm sure Maul out would have been able to take care of Weavile and Yvetal, um pretty easily as well. Um, unless, you know, something crazy, they, they had something crazy. Um, to be able to handle the mall out. So, two quick games there for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video if you can, if you enjoyed it. Um, leave any comments. Again, you can always leave suggestions. Uh, I think soon, the next couple of videos, you will be seeing uh, a different version of the Groudon, uh, I believe. I do uh, switch out the Groudon usage uh, and stats and things like that. So, uh, I will pretty much, I'll keep you guys up to date with um, the with that as well before the video starts and any major changes i'll definitely let you know as well on the team so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or if you think that this team is super cool leave a comment saying hashtag zoark for the win so uh let's go ahead and trend that dude it would be so cool if you if if we start seeing zoarks uh in the vgc meta i would just i'll start laughing so hard that i brought that into uh existence so go ahead like the video share the crap out of it and let's see if we can get zoark into the vgc meta thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch y'all later peace out